It's back in the Sea of Bounce. Hypercurrents are protecting the damn thing. What is that glow? That's magic energy. It's storing up power like a living creature. It's getting stronger. I've never felt anything like it before. Whoa, that's really creepy. Hey, you're not crying, are you? This isn't the time to be crying. Can we get any closer? This ship will be fine. Kai and the others have come. We will do whatever must be done. Follow Grand Staff. Said, give us maximum speed. Everybody, get to the bridge! Now! Mac, Cook, hurry up! Sarah, look at that! What the hell is that? It's magic energy. It's boiling up from deep within the stars. Wait a minute, stars? Isn't the magic energy coming from that tower of mirror thing? The mirrors, they're behind the stars? They'll burn up. So that's what Gungar is aiming to do. Destroy the mirrors. What'll he do then? Blow the stars away? He's a fool. 
If he does that, he'll be the one blown away. We can't just sit here. We have to figure out what he wants. Well, now see there? That sounds like you're finally talking some sense. Is that? It's the portal to our world. Is that where you came from? Yes. So you're, you're, you're not going back to your world, right? I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> but, um, you know, just, are you still deciding? No. In my heart, I already decided. that keeps you in this world. <sighs> Surely you felt the myriad of feelings interwoven in these people's lives. Don't you think the energy that evokes such feelings is incredible? The joy and sorrow they feel. The energy that keeps them alive. 
inherent in all people. If I am infected by this virus called emotions, I welcome it. You say you find feelings incredible. How can you possibly attempt to control them? It is because they are incredible that I covet their power. And I have come to know this desire through this world. As long as people live, I shall acquire unlimited power. And this body shall truly be immortal. Why do you not see how much better it would be to experience the joy of infinite power instead of the burden of your physical bodies? Oh, please! People who talk on and on about power are rarely sane. That's right! You tell them! You tell them, Mama! Thanks, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> you understand nothing! Overwhelming power will annihilate the people here. It's proven by the history that you so covet. In our thousand years here, haven't we seen countless nations rise and fall? You should well know how much magic energy has adversely affected this world. That's pointless, Ming. He's not listening to anything any of us are saying. For us, it's about trust and belonging in this world. You know what I mean? And all Fancy Pants wants here is reigns of power. Wow! Pretty well said, you dance. I owe you a little respect. A little? Well, that was my best stuff. Well, it looks like we shall never agree. There is only one thing to do. There can be no death for the likes of us. Our fight would be unending. Shall we entrust our fates to mortals then? What? What have you learned from all the distasteful tasks I assigned you to? Was it not one of my rules that you should never bring anything unnecessary into your place of work? Oh. To bring mortals here is little better than putting ourselves in shackles. Don't you agree? Your efforts are futile. You cannot break the spell. Before he left Uran with Kaim, he entered into a contract with me. As long as that contract remains in force, Jansen shall be my puppet! <laughs> This is your car, is it not? We will attack your friend. It must be easy for you to kill this world. After all, you've seen countless other things. I can sense Jensen's emotions at this very moment. <laughs> Even after he's lost self-control, he's still concerned. You cannot save this man, despite what you feel. You immortals should understand this better than any. It doesn't matter anymore. Everything will end soon! And my work will begin! Alright! Time to stop playing around! Contract has been fulfilled. Get out of my sight. Jensen. You are all so pathetic. Caring for these weak mortal fools is nothing but a waste of time. Time only deepens our thoughts. Gora. These thoughts may appear ephemeral to us, but their impact can last forever. Is that all you've managed to learn in a thousand years, Kaim?
lives. I will cut the link to my former world and become a god. Gora has been a disaster for this world, but we don't belong here either. Our existence here only invites chaos. Even without magic energy, immortals have no place here. And yet you plan to remain, Ming? We should go back. Is that what you want, Kaim? I know you said you have no need for the past, but what have you learned over the last thousand years? There are things here that I don't want to lose either, but our mission is clear. We must go back. Stop! I don't want to hear that now! So many things have become important to us in a thousand years' time. As they should have. That's what's kept us alive till now. Sir. So we have to stop Gungora, right? He'll destroy everything that's important to us. There's only one place Gongora will go. Yes. The Tower of Mirrors. <laughs> 